like to talk about who we're running against. A billionaire who calls women fat broads and horse-faced lesbians. And no, I'm not talking about Donald Trump. I'm talking about Mayor Bloomberg. I actually welcomed Mayor Bloomberg to the stage. I thought that he shouldn't be hiding behind his TV ads. I don't think you look at Donald Trump and say, we need someone richer in the White House. Let's put forward somebody who actually lives and works in a middle-class neighborhood in an industrial Midwestern city. Let's put forward somebody who's actually a Democrat. Look. One thing that I'm um, really worried about, embarrassed about, was how it turned out um, with stop and frisk. It got out of control. And it's not whether he apologized or not, it's the policy. The policy was abhorrent, and it was, in fact, a violation of every right people have. I have no tolerance for the kind of behavior that the Me Too movement, movement has exposed. In my foundation, the person that runs it's a woman, 70% of the people there are women. <clears throat> In my company, Lots and lots of women have big responsibilities. They get paid exactly the same as men. And I hope you heard what his defense was. I've been nice to some women. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, are you willing to release all of those women from those non-disclosure agreements so we can hear their side of the story? There's a be agreements between two parties that wanted to keep it quiet. And that's up to them. We are not going to beat Donald Trump with a man who has who knows how many non-disclosure agreements and the drip, drip, drip of stories of women saying they have been harassed okay. and discriminated against. That's not what we do as Democrats. Mr. Vice I believe in democratic socialism okay, for enough. working people, not billionaires. Well, what a wonderful country we have. The best known socialist in the country happens to be a millionaire with three houses. What I miss here? Well, you'll miss that I work in Washington, House 1. That's the first problem. Live in Burlington, House 2. That's good. And like thousands of other Vermonters, I do have a summer well, camp. Forgive me for that. But, Where is your home? But, which, tax, which tax haven New do you York, have your home? New York City, thank you very much. Yeah, right, and I yeah, pay also, all my taxes. Many, and I'm happy to do it because I get something for it. And Mitch McConnell, I've been the object of his affection and the president's affection. The way he's gone after me, this new Republican Party, after me, after my son, after my family. I don't need to be told I'm a friend of Mitch McConnell's. Mitch McConnell has been the biggest pain in my neck in a long, long time. And that's so what we are saying, Pete is maybe it's a time for the working class of this country to have a little bit of power in Washington rather than your billionaire campaign contrib contributors. Hey, uh, all right, look, first of all, I know. First of all. And if there are a few people who make ugly remarks, who attack trade union leaders, I disown those people. They are not part of our movement. But Senator leadership Kate, is about I... what you draw out of people. It's, what, uh, it's about how you inspire people to act. With, I have an idea of how can we move can us forward. stop sexism on the Internet. We could nominate a woman for candidate uh, for President of the United States. Mayor Buttigieg really has a slogan that was thought up by his consultants to paper over a thin version of a plan that would leave millions of people unable to afford their health care. It's not a plan, it's PowerPoint. And Amy's plan is even less. It's like a post-it note, insert plan here. Bernie. I think I'm, Amy I'm, more, said. I'm more of a Microsoft Word guy. I, I must post. say I take personal offense since post-it notes were invented in my state. <laughs> <laughs> so. Three MS3. But you're staking your candidacy on your Washington experience. You're on the committee that oversees border security. You're on the committee that does trade. You're literally in uh, part of the committee that's overseeing these things. And we're not able to speak to literally the first thing about the politics of the country you, to ourselves. Are you trying to say that I'm dumb or are you mocking me here, Pete? I'm I saying that you shouldn't trivialize that I made that an error. People sometimes forget names. He's basically saying that I don't have the experience to be president of the United States. I have passed over 100 bills as a lead Democrat since being in the U.S. Senate. I am the one, not you, that has won statewide in congressional district after congressional district. But let's just be clear. Missing a name all by itself does not indicate that you do not understand what's going on. And I